why do we build the way we build? When I look at people, populations, and neighborhoods, I see opportunity. Growing up in Brazil kind of gave me a unique perspective on how the lack of infrastructure plays an important role in people's lives. We can talk about waste, we can talk about transportation, we can talk about housing, you can talk about any kind of urban challenges. If they can cost one-tenth of what they cost and take one-tenth of the time to be built, we can grow infrastructure at the pace that the population is growing. I moved here in 2012 to live with people, to live their lives. I started to see my life differently and the way that we live in our cities completely. I felt that if you do not have, you know, decent infrastructure, it creates a barrier between you and your dreams that you have for your family and for their future and for their development. Our technology is an industrialized way of creating precast concrete structures that are 3D printed. Most people think we can only print iPhone cases. No, we can 3D print glass, we can 3D print steel, you can 3D print concrete. This is a 3D printed piece. It was made of fully recycled concrete that came out of the dumpsters. 3D printed oil drill made out of steel. 3D printed piece made out of glass powder made for insulation. This can only be made in half of a decade or it would take almost a decade to be built. On average, that's what it takes. But with our technology, that can be made in just a couple of months. Her technology is so in line with uh, the way the world is going. This could be a sustainable technological breakthrough in solving two problems. One is the sustainability problem of, of what we do with resources, and two, the problem of housing this ever-expanding world population. I think this is a global opportunity because we have to build and we have to keep building everywhere. It's about making people protagonists of their own development. You're not only thinking about a fabrication method here, you're thinking about how things are built, how things are made, how things are commercialized. The challenge is way too huge for one company to take it over. I think we're moving towards an era in which we're now gonna have an ecosystem of companies and individuals working together to solve an issue. And that's how we're positioning our businesses.